Here, this is going to be a video discussing the basics of Jigsaw. Um, it's going to be specifically focusing on the DOM only. I'm not going to be discussing the charting on uh, Jigsaw because I use Sierra, so I'm not familiar with the um, charting. Real quick though, before I get into it, if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you are. I post tons of great information over there, such as daily plans, order flow clips, um, different stuff like that. So definitely go ahead and give me a follow. On top of that, if you're looking for a Discord server to join with uh, other order flow traders, um, that's free with some good resources. Make sure you check the link down below. Um, I'm active in there intraday and stuff like that. And also, if you'd like to purchase Jigsaw, the link for it will be down below. Uh, you can use code Yusuf for $30 off. Personally, I think Jigsaw is the best DOM. Um, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the basics of Jigsaw. So over here you have all of these different um, different buttons. So this right here is a connection manager. It's where you add any accounts or remove any accounts. The orders and position views show you all of the different trades that you took for the day. Um, they show you the MAE, MFE, and your PNL. Next up is something called the strategy manager. The strategy manager um, is pretty much what allows you to create stop loss uh, brackets and stuff like that. So you know, let's go ahead and pull up an example. So for crude over here, um, it's set to five contracts, three, one, one, all have the same um, stop losses. Uh, I made this before just to show you guys an example. So um, what this does is it will automatically switch my clip size to five and I'll show you uh, over here an example. By the way, I'm on demo to show you guys how to get in and out and all that cool stuff. So, um, and then let's just say I'd like to add another bracket. I would just do that, put in, let's just say one contract, whatever, stop loss would be still 12. And let's just say we want 200 on the last one or something like that. But um, let's go ahead and delete that. But yeah, so allows you to enter this thing. Quantity is the amount of contracts. Stop ticks is the number of ticks you want your stop loss to be. Stop type, leave this at stop. Don't leave it at stop limit because if you leave it at stop limit, sometimes you won't get filled and you can lose more than you intended to. And then target ticks is just the uh, amount of take profit that you want the, um, the strategy to have. <laughs> so alert window, session manager, uh, depth and sales, this is to actually open um, any DOM. So over here, um, you know, you type in any symbol, let's just say that uh, we're looking for, I don't know, ES. Boom, you select it, you select the different accounts that you'd want. Um, so that's that. Uh, this is the reconstructed tape. I don't really use a reconstructed tape, so um, let's go ahead and show you though. I find no edge in it, personally. Um, so yeah, just no edge in my opinion. So the charting, summary tape, gauge. I don't use this either, don't use this, don't use this, and this is just your settings. So that's all that. Now let's go ahead and talk about uh, the actual DOM itself. So we'll just go over here. Um, the alert column is what allows you to type in all the notes. Um, pretty much by you checking any of these columns, it allows you to be on your DOM. And if you uncheck it, it will remove it from your DOM. So these are the only columns that I find helpful. The alert column, the bid profile column, ask profile column, order column, volume profile column, current trades column uh, at bid and current trades at ask as well. The appearance, this is just to change the colors and stuff like that. There's nothing really to it over there. Shortcut keys, you can make your own shortcut keys. Um, I don't really use shortcut keys, but I know a good amount of people suggest that I do, so maybe that's something I'll look into. Um, next up for trading. Uh, for this, uh, I actually, since I switched the layout on my DOM, but you're going to want to turn on close outstanding orders when position is canceled and clear current trains on new position. So pretty much what this does is um, on clear current trades on new position. The reason why I have this is because I'd like to see the flow coming in after I enter a position. That's why I have it set to that. And then also another thing over here is um, you're going to want to make sure you have this check to reset on new session. Uh, the reason why is because there are, you know, there's the Globex session and then there's the cash session. And I like to look at each of those as separate auctions that are occurring. So that's why I like to see the new volume that's being done during RTH. Um, and then usually I'll have like a Globex TPO or something like that on Sierra to look at the volume and stuff like that and the structure um, over there. But yeah, 
uh, power meters I don't use, JSS, not sure, load levels, you can bring this in, auction vista, I don't use this, I know some people do, but I find no edge in it. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we can go ahead and get over to this. So some people don't know how to go get this, so all you're going to want to do is see this little money symbol over here, you're just going to want to click that, and then after that you can, this is where you can select the different accounts, once again I want demo to show you guys. These are the different stop losses that you have. So we'll, uh, oops, I'm not sure where the crude is, but whatever, we'll do it on uh, NQ. Um, so these are the different stop losses. So, you know, seven tick, eight tick, whatever. I create all of these in the strategy manager. So we'll just go ahead and um, do a trade on NQ. I think I have this set to, yeah, two only two contracts. So. You'll see, let's go ahead and hit in here real quick. Completely fill us. All right, you know, we'll just hit over there. Okay, there you go. So now with this strategy, this is a um, 10 point stop loss. So my stop loss is put in at 82s, and then I have a take profit um, bracket as well, I believe, on this. Actually, I don't, so I just man uh, manage it manually. But, um, so you'll see how it already puts a stop loss in for me. This is probably gonna stop me out right now. Let's quickly drag it down so you guys can see. Boom, instantly stops me out. And um, so I don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, next up is these right here. These numbers allow you to switch between the clip sizes. So you're just gonna go ahead and switch this to however many you want. You know, I don't think anyone's doing 100 lots that's watching this video. Um, this right over here, this recenters your DOM. So let's just say I'm all the way down here and I don't feel like scrolling back up. I'll go ahead and hit that. Clear total trades or clear everything in the at bid at ask and the uh, bid and um, ask volume profile. Clear total trades over here. Trades, this clears trades as well. Clears current trades, it clears the at bid and at ask. Um, this clears all of the alerts. So let's just say that, uh, I don't know, seller, buyer, 11 slash 20, I don't know, 11 slash 12 low. If I go ahead and click this, it will remove all of the notes on that. This clears the volume profile. Be careful not to hit that intraday. Um, strength meter, I don't use that either. Um, settings, um, like I said, it just opens all of this up. And then um, next up, this is these to pull up the over here, this right over here. Um, and then finally, um, this right here is the Discord for um, Jigsaw. There's not much to their DOM, um, it's quite simple. They do have some different um, layouts. That you have over here. Um, some of them already already come with it. So if you um, like, they have like the factory one, solar rise. I don't use any of these. Uh, this is something called the light dom. Um, if you join my Discord server, I ha I shared all these different templates in there. So you know, feel free to join that. And yeah, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out um, on Twitter or you can find me in my Discord. And like I said, if you're interested in purchasing Jigsaw. You can use code Yusuf and click the link down in the description for $30 off. I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.